this is Gavrock Fever, and I welcome you back to yet another Let's Play Final Fantasy 1, Dawn of Souls. I forgot to say fairly well at the end of my last video. Oh, my, um, trend is gone, it seems. Oh, well, I'll be sure to say it from now on. I'm sure you'll think I'm weird, but do I look like I care? Nope. Now, as you'll see, you can see, I've started here at the entrance to the basement, second basement of Marsh Cave. That's where you go to get there, because I realised that I forgot to show you how to get to this point from the entrance. So I'm going to show you now. Hopefully I don't get killed, because as you can see, my magic is running very low. I, um, if you remember, I went to the Marsh Cave, when I first came in, I went to the north and found a ladder leading down. I thought that didn't have any chests in it, but as it turns out, it does. I'm an idiot, and you can't get to those chests from any other way. So if you do go down there, which you might want to, it's just some money and a dagger. Dagger's not very good, money might be alright. There's another broadsword chest in there, but because I already got that when I went south, it was empty for me. So yes, I decided I'm not going to show those to you because I... it's pretty simple. And uh, there we are, right at the entrance. Not very bad at all, just walk north a bit and here we are, back outside. Uh, next place, next stop is Western Keep, where we will give the crown back to its master. But first I'm going to head off to Elfheim and back for an in stop because, well, my two white magic people have 11 and 2 MP points respectively. And I don't like that very much, also I'm running a little bit low on potions and antidotes. So I will go to Elfheim, sell my stuff, and be back in a moment. Pause. Fourth level magic. Urgh, I forgot almost. Not to worry, let's go get some. You'll notice I have one one two nine one one nine two nine. There's a lot of numbers of gill. Uh, that means I can buy four fourth level spells for now, which I suppose is good enough. What have we got? Blizzara. That's very 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 useful. I will get. I will get. I will get. Ah, uh, for the red mage, for the black. Haste is also a very good one, but I'm not going to get it yet because I'm hideously overleveled and I can't see myself needing it. It can be very helpful, yes, but I'm not the type of person who uses that sort of stuff. I just use, I just kill people with magic rather than use it for other things. Um, Poisona, probably the most important spell you'll ever get here. I shall get it for the white mage. I don't see the point in getting it for two mages because, well. You're only going to need it when you get poisoned, and unless you're in the Marsh Cave, which I've already been through, that doesn't happen very often. I'm going to keep my six antidotes, though, because it's good to hang on to them, because they're worth more if I use them than if I sell them. And I don't want my white mage to run out of magic from curing and poisonering too much. Mm. It's a very cheap spell, too, though, so it shouldn't be that bad. That's also why I don't need it on two mages, because you're not going to use it that often, only when you need to. It's just a way to avoid buying antidote after antidote, because, well, buying antidote after antidote is dumb. Yes, very much so. Ah, uh, should I get haste? Should I get haste? Nah, let's not, let's not. May as well not, I'm, I don't think I'll use it. I'm going to get all... What I'd usually do with this game is that later on, after I've been through everything, on a, after I get up, up to like the level 8 magic shop and the level 7 magic shop, I go back to all the old areas and I fill out every mage with three spells for each level. Why? Because I might use them occasionally. Like, I might use Dyer, even though I've got the better one, because I might just have a low, have Roman with very low magic and still need a little bit of a boost and I might decide to use it. Plus, by that point in time, you've got a lot of throwaway money and um, right now I don't. <laughs> So I'm just sticking with the base essentials, as you can see. Haven't gotten anything really special except for the base attacky tacky die die spells for the Black Mage and the healy healy spells for Roma. Because those are the base ones that you know, don't really need the others, as I've said. Uh, it's all for Elfheim for now, because the only thing left to do in this place is heal the Prince... I'm still trying to get over that he's male, uh, and we can't do that yet because we don't have the right stuff to do so. So let's head over to the Western Keep. As promised, I'm actually going to show you the journey this time. Why? Because I haven't shown you before. 
And because I want you to feel my pain of having to go through this god awfully boring trick. Yep, that's a good explanation. As you can see, ogres sometimes decide to come with friends, gigas worms. Gigas worms aren't that bad, look, they're already dead, and the ogres die soon after. Gigas worms give you an alright amount of gill. Three of them give you 45, so it's up to you to do the maths and work out what that means. Tarantulas, as I've said, poisoners. Other than that, not very bad. Now that I've got Poisona, it doesn't mean a thing. I'm going to refrain from using my antidotes on the summon the dungeon. I'm just going to use Poisona if I'm on the overworld and I get poisoned because overworld is close to in, dungeon is not. Please die, I'd like to get to the western keep before the end of this video. Still got a while. Now, you'll also remember, I don't know if I've mentioned this, in the armor shop in Elfheim there were two very expensive, well, not too very expensive, there's a very expensive item called the Copper Armlet, which would have improved both White Mage and Black Mage's defense. Now, I managed to find one in the Marsh Cave, or at least I think that's where I found it, because I seem to have one, and I can't remember where I got it from, <laughs> so I gave that to Roman. And Furvan, I'm not going to give it to, because 800 gil doesn't, isn't really that bad anymore now that I'm earning incredibly large amounts of 10,000 but I like to hoard and my way is you're eventually going to get better armlets and well Furvan is not the type of person who gets attacked a lot so hmm, he can cry do with that see even he takes low damage right now five not that bad Unless you get an ogre to hit him, he'll be pretty safe. His attacks leave much to be desired, however. Don't like that at all. Hitty hitty, daddy daddy, goodie bye, spider. Spider dead. Ah, cobras. Eh, uh, cobra. Eh, uh, co. Dead. And that's 50 Gila Cobra, which I suppose isn't as bad as others. Ambushed by ogres. Mm, that's, that's a testament to our low levels of intelligence if we can be ambushed by giant ogres. Surely you'd see them coming at you. They, don't, they can't exactly hide behind a tree, can they? I guess it was a purple tree with ogre-like limbs, which would be odd in itself because trees don't usually have. Look, okay, pausing, long fight, pausing. I hate scorpions, so let's all start a fire and burn them to death. I hate scorpions. I hope that you all agree with me. Here we are, Western Keep. I've shown you the journey now, so. That'll be the last time I ever do it. From now on, it's going to be off-screening because it is god awfully boring. Okay, uh, let's talk to Mr. Kingy and give him back his crown. You know what? I don't trust him. No, I don't. I don't know why. Just an instinct. So, I'm going to do minor cures on these three. I'm going to save my state, even though I really, really don't need to. And I'm going to walk in. Kingy, have your crown. <laughs> you fools fell right into my trap. I am Astos. I am King of the Dark Elves. Right. Well, good for you. And you vanish. Oh, good. Now we don't have to fight it's you. Ah. Blue Yoda. Hmm. With the combined power of that crown and the crystal eye already in my possession, I shall be the true Elf King! Ah, oh, stop talking! I'm running out of time! Alright, fine. Uh, be right back. Fairly well.